least in this form uh, on the on the video. We're very sorry that that we cannot come in person, but because of the COVID and Stan's age, it's uh, too dangerous to travel to su such events right now. So. Thank you so much for such wonderful exhibition. And I understand you are making it in my name. We are all now. <laughs> Many people will think, you know, that it's coming to, the, to my book, to the cyclone, uh, but, but this, was, this was actually something that I borrowed already. The word cyclone, the term cyclone mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Stan has the encyclopedia called The Way of the Cyclone, the two volume, and also there's the film about Stan's life and work, it's called The, the Way of the Cyclone. It's really a, a used term now. This is the big impress. What we are doing with Nadia, we, we was a couple also in the 80s and we started to do art together and we organized art since the uh, 80s. We organized art exhibitions. And also my parents, they are the printers of Hans Rudy's artworks and oh, many okay. big artists. They are still mm -hmm. work only in art since the 60s. So I grew up mm -hmm. in the field of art. And my conversation with Albert Hofmann was always this, that I say that the LSD inspires so many artists, so many musicians, writers, painters, and this was a discussion I had also with Albert during mm -hmm. the last years of his life. You know, it was uh, publishing this uh, book, The Mayor of the Second Hour. Uh, people were coming uh, to me and saying, Are you sure you want to give it that uh, name? It's really not academic, you know. Uh, and, uh, that was great that, that I could sort of connect it to no, the other. Said, you know, said, yes. uh, How great. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Normally people, people you know, thought it was too wild. Mm -hmm. 
But actually, it seems that people really like it very much now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I think it's very good to run. And so it's great to be it now connected to, to your exhibition as well. Yeah. That's fine. Well, we just thank you so much, Carmen, for giving the space, and, um, mm. and uh, Claude and Nadia for organizing that exhibition. This is so much work, and we are so grateful to you, to all of you, that you make this happen. And, uh, very well. Very well. Yes. <laughs> and again, we're very sad we can't celebrate with you in person, but, but at least we'll, we'll be here with our hearts and we get a lot of photos uh, or a film about the the opening and, and we wish everybody who's attending, the artists and the, the visitors, to have a very good time in the psychonaut world. <laughs> this would be, this would be great to have as much of the of uh, Carmen when we were here, you know, we didn't expect what's going to happen with psychedelics. It's amazing, right? What is, what is happening now, you know? Because the last time when we were at, uh, um, out there, you know, we were talking, we fantasized about the possibility that, that uh, both of these uh, babies, you know, uh, this uh, LSD and the uh, the silver silver that it will be integrated somehow into society. And at this point, we were fantasizing. Yes. Many were there, and and Alfred uh, was there. We were fantasizing about it, and it seems like a really wild fantasy that something like this could happen. Yeah. That it happened at, uh, you know, like it's like a renaissance. Mm -hmm. So it's true, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I mean, just hope that next time we don't have to call it and doing it. Yeah. We have people, you know, waiting now all over the world now, all the teachers and so on, and when they can uh, win, particularly with uh, the holotropic breathwork and so on, that can get on the, on the, on the methods, yeah. well, with our new training, we created a new training, the Prof Legacy Training for working with holotropic states of consciousness. Mm -hmm. And so, so everybody's ready, and we just need to be able to work on the floor again safely. Yeah. And you know this, uh, you know the, the uh, training that we have now, the, the Legacy Prof Legacy Training. That we now combine actually holotropic breathwork and uh, psychedelics as well uh, for people that will be allowed to, to do it. To learn to but there are places in, like in, in uh, uh, South America and stuff like that, you know. Well, actually, and, uh, we're just starting a, a psychedelic sitter training in Spain. Really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool already? It started, which is now we had an online meeting and then they will have an in, in person training in June. And so, you know, it's, it's, psychological breathwork is, is really great for preparation for the end for uh, the psychedelic experiences. Mm -hmm. For all those years where we couldn't, couldn't do it officially, mm -hmm. for 40 years and so on. We uh, could be doing uh, all over the world this uh, for us to go for big restaurant, and so they're, they're ready for it now. Mm -hmm. It's really important in this Renaissance, as, as great as it is, it's also dangerous if people get to work in psychedelics who don't have any training. It's, and not only a theoretical training, but they're really hands on training. And I mean, the breath work is the ideal method to learn how to work with these you know, states and also to learn with body work and, and how, to, how to be with people, how to experience yourself, because you have to know what it's like, and then how to be with people to have a, that they have a safe, a safe journey. And that's really important to train good sitters for psychedelics. That's our mission. Anyway, so we wish you all a wonderful day and uh, a wonderful time and 
We are so happy to see this happening. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.